on today's episode of Chloe As Me. I want to talk to you today about get ready for overflow. God didn't create us to just get by in life, to just have enough for what we need. We're grateful for that, but God is not a get by God. He's an overflow God. He wants you to have an abundance so you can be a blessing to others. Where you have so much joy, you bring joy everywhere you go. You have so many resources that you can help those around you. You may not have seen this yet, but God is about to do a new thing. One touch of his favor will take you from having just enough to having more than enough. You need to get ready. Overflow is coming. You're going to overflow with creativity, with ideas, with talent. Overflow with good relationships, with great people in your life. Overflow with influence, promotion, resources, where you can come out of debt, where you can lend and not have to borrow. Now get in agreement with God. Father, thank you that overflow is coming. Thank you that you're a more than enough God. In the scripture, Jesus was out in the desert teaching the people. and It was late in the day. They were all hungry. Jesus told his disciples to feed them. Well, they were in the middle of nowhere. They said, Jesus, all we have are five loaves of bread and two fish. Jesus told them to have the people sit in groups of 50 and 100. The disciples went out and counted the people, put them in different groups. There were 5,000 men there, plus the women and children. Jesus prayed over the food, and it multiplied. As they served the people, the food kept coming. When it was all over, they had 12 baskets full of food left over. What's interesting is Jesus knew exactly how many people were there that day. He had the disciples take the time to count. He could have stopped the food from multiplying as soon as everyone was fed. After all, God is precise. He doesn't make mistakes. It's not like he miscalculated. He accidentally made too much food. On purpose, God designed there to be overflow. He was showing us his nature. He not only wants to meet your needs, he's an overflow God, a God of more than enough. And when he laid out the plan for your life, he calculated exactly what you would need. He knows what it's going to take to get you to your destiny. Then on purpose, he added extra. Look, I'm not gonna lie, I be wanting a bigger car, but this little baby car be fitting in spots and making its way into little bitty areas that can't nobody else be fitting their way into. This thing is like an extension of my arm. I just be whipping this little thing. I love this car. Thank you, Jesus, for this car, okay? I'm not gonna lie, though. After watching that Joel Osteen sermon that I included in one of my recent vlogs, basically, like, see yourself how you wanna be. Girl, I be seeing myself in a big old Bronco. Not even seeing myself, but I imagine that I'm driving a huge, like, Bronco, and I just feel good. That's how you know that stuff don't matter, because if you just imagine you have it, you're experiencing the feeling of what it would be like to have one of those cars. But anyways, good afternoon, everyone. If y'all can tell, Oops. If y'all can tell that my um, BB cream doesn't really match my face too much, <laughs> let's just not talk about it because the BB cream that I use is really good for the skin and they only have four different colors so I have to use the colors that they have. 
But anyways, let's actually start getting into the vlog. I feel like I'm just rambling just to ramble. I had pulled up to Starbucks, y'all, to get me a drink, swear to gosh. Every car that went up there took 10 minutes to be able to get their drink. And everybody that like went inside the building got their drink in two minutes. So I was like, hold on, girl, I'm about to go to Big B. I forgot they even had these Red Bull refresher things. Mm. And it's real refreshing. Thank you guys so much on all of the support that I have received on my engagement. I am so grateful for each and every one of you guys. If I'm being completely honest, I was not expecting the amount of love and support that I did receive about my engagement. Like, wow, I love y'all. So thank you so much for that. I'm just about to start picturing myself and acting like the woman I want to be one day. So let's get it girl. We feeling good. We feeling good. We feeling good. Yes ma'am. I am headed to a gas station right now because I'm trying to find um, an ATM so I can get some money out for my sister-in-law. I want to spend some time with her so Jordan and I are going to take her to the mall today so I need to get to some kind of ATM to get her some cash because yes ma'am you can't go to the mall without no money sis you know what i'm saying gotta start spending more time with her she's a sweetheart and she's my sister-in-law now so it's like why not so basically yeah i'm headed to an atm and then i'm gonna go home and i really want to do a target haul because i'm getting ready to go ahead and insert the footage of me at target with my mom and my nephew yesterday i had an amazing day yesterday i went and got a pedicure i went to target had an amazing time with my nephew and my mom um I did Jordan's retwist. His hair looks super nice. We love it. Thank you, Jesus, for teaching me how to do his hair because Lord knows I can't do nothing on my own. So I'm going to go ahead and insert um, the videos of us yesterday in Target. But I have a lot of stuff that I want to go ahead and talk. Talk? I have a bunch of stuff that I want to go ahead and haul from Target. I got a lot of cute stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But then I also want to go ahead and rearrange my shower today because I did get those shower shelves, if you watch one of my recent vlogs. So I have the shower shelves, but I have not gotten the eucalyptus. So once we leave the mall, I'm going to have Jordan take me to Michael's to see if they have any eucalyptus. And if not, I don't know. I need to go ahead and use the chicken that I have in my fridge before it goes bad. So that means I got to cook. Realistically, I need to do laundry. Do I want to do laundry? Am I going to do it? Girl, no, I don't want to do it, and I don't know if I'm going to do it, but I need to. So basically, today is like a super chill, fun kind of day, y'all. We go on to the mall. We're rearranging my shower. It's going to be super fun. I love stuff like that. Y'all know that. I feel like every single time I'm vlogging, it's more of like a chill, laid-back kind of day because personally, I do not like vlogging and filming on the days that I'm dealing with business and just doing like the hard stuff, you know what I mean? Because I was even going to record me retwisting Jordan's hair as the part of the vlog, but I was like, ugh, when I get in the zone, I I just like to focus on what I'm doing that's why y'all never really see me get like errands done business all of like the life stuff you know what I mean like tomorrow tomorrow's tax day I gotta get my taxes done so I will not be picking up the camera because girl I got business to take care of I know people be like girl your life is a dream no girl I'll be working hard off the camera uh, they have an ATM in that building but they put it in the booze bar and I'm not going into no alcohol place so that's not gonna happen tons of evil spirits i'm gonna go to speedway one of the topics i wanted to go ahead and talk about is because it's because one of the topics i wanted to go ahead and talk about yeah it's because right oh my gosh girl you're confusing is because i've been seeing so many sermons or like self-help videos about um changing this year and being productive and this and this and that and everybody changing their life this year but i'm just like when you say that to people, we have to also make it clear that the devil hates progress. I don't care if you believe in the devil or not, he's real. So, with that being said, when you try to make progress in life and you're progressing and you're doing things better and you're making a change in things, the devil hates that. So what is he gonna do? He's gonna try to stop you. Meaning, he's going to use a weakness of yours to make sure you don't do exactly what you said you were gonna do. Okay, let's say this year you talking about some. I'm not gonna gossip no more. Girl, he gonna have somebody do you so dirty. You gonna feel like you ain't got no choice but to talk about them. But we have a choice. One thing I learned in 2022 was that just because I feel some kind of way, that don't mean I gotta act that kind of way. It doesn't mean I have to act on that feeling. You know what I mean? 
let me go up in this gas station real fast i'll be right back and i will finish what i was talking about Woo, girl i can't stand going into these dang hood gas stations girl i went to a gas station one time and there was all these guys outside i walk out i said lord i know what's getting ready to happen here we go i love you oh my gosh you my life i love you girl wow girl i said all right now y'all have a nice time all right you too girl keep it short keep it simple anyways like i was saying when we are giving advice or motivational tips and stuff like that for change and for progress and things of that nature we also need to be making it clear that when you start to do that the devil's gonna send absolutely everything your way to prevent you from becoming the woman or the man that the Lord Jesus Christ has created and intended for you to be. We all making changes. We're all doing great things for our future and for our lives. A lot of us had a very hard time last year. I know for me, I had a very hard time spiritually to prepare me for this abundant year. You have to know your enemy and be aware and be on lookout all day so that you are not deceived by the enemy i pray every single day lord jesus christ please do not allow me to be deceived by the enemy today i ask that you please reveal any deception that may be going on in my life from the enemy lord jesus and we have to use our tools that we have here on earth worship praying the word of god fasting those are very powerful tools we have for victory amen we have to serve the lord jesus christ hallelujah no wonder the enemy tries to occupy our time no work 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 do more 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 you don't have time to be praising worshiping you don't have time to read the word of god let me tell you something baby you can work all your life and read the bible for an hour that hour is the best investment you could possibly make for your life but here goes the clips from target not like this <laughs> yeah Oh and my gosh, that ski ball? That's my favorite game. And What's happening? After that, she had braids, and then she had... um. Who one, did? Uh, the girl in the... Uh, the Wakanda Forever? Yeah. Oh. And, and then the uh, Neymar had... um He had uh, white wings hanging out from his ankles. Let me tell you a funny story. One time we were at church, and my mom was talking to this one lady. And the lady was talking about how she was taking care of um, different kids from Africa and stuff like that. And um, she was like, I forgot where they're from. Hold on. My mom was like, Wakanda? And the lady was like, no, no, she hadn't caught it. And I was like, wait a minute, Wakanda's not even, <laughs> Wakanda's not even a place. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, that's a sketch. Oh my gosh, what just happened? Oh my gosh. Mom, what's going on at this Target? This is gold. Etching sketch. Who remembers these? What's yeah, happening? These I remember those. Ones. You don't even remember none, you're two. Big ones too. This little two year old talking about some, I remember etching sketch. I'm not two. Two and a half. Hold on, hold on. You already got three toys. Hold on, cause you got Romeo, 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 Raleigh, Cena, John. Can't see me. What else? Conda oh, forever. I got, I got Roman Reigns. Uh, what you think you're gonna I get? Got John Cena, and I got this. That's the last thing we done. Mm -hmm. I should. Bah! These plants are adorable. Oh my goodness. I love them. And I want to get one of these for my bathroom. It's so nice. Which one do you think would be better for my bathroom? This one or this one? Mom, which one do you think would be better for my bathroom? You like the cactus. So I do. I like them both, though. You're both. No. Get to get to I don't know what to do. I'm looking at all the stuff. I love that lamp. I really want to change my decor so bad. I love that. And I love that. I could still get one of those for my room, but I'm into like the woody modern look. And I'm just like, dude, I'm so sad because I want to move before I change all of my decor. But these smell really good. I'm not gonna lie. It's in Dallas. Sea salt sage, smell good. And then the aloe and bergamot. I'm gonna go ahead and grab yeah, both these. Like so okay. He's just real cute. And aesthetic. Look at that. Beautiful. Sorry for the low quality. Oh, my bad. Sorry for the low quality, y'all. If I don't have my camera on me, I still should pull out my phone. Y'all be missing the good stuff because I don't be wanting to vlog without my camera. But, oh my gosh, might as well. Oh my gosh, I love this. What did you just say? Fine. Look. What do you talk about your head for? Oh, um, I saw this guy on YouTube shorts where he took shaving cream and he was, uh, kind of like still bald. 
and then uh, he had a little bit of hair, and then he wanted to go all the way bald, so he took shaving cream, rubbed it on his head, and then he... Oh, like, he used that? Yeah, he He took, used a dishwashing brush? Yeah, he took this and rubbed it all over his head. Oh, for real? Yeah, and then um, he took oil. Um, oh, what kind of oil? And then he, ra he like, um, took a razor and then cut off all his hair, and then he took oil, like uh, baby oil, and was like... Yep, he used that, y'all, right there, yep. Sure did. Yes, I've been wanting one of these. Are these the carbonated ones? Yep. These are energy drinks. You can't have caffeine. I You're two years old. I'm not. I'm eight. Oh, my gosh. What color do you want? Okay, I don't know. They have orange, mango, strawberry, watermelon, blue raspberry, and lemon lime. You're not drinking a whole one, though, because you'll probably, like, pass out and die. Oh, lemon lime. Lemon lime? Okay, I guess I'll try orange mango. Y'all, this is a dream. I but, love this stuff. But I want the, the memories the memories what oh yeah say? he didn't get the energy drink y'all told him put that junk back and get this and i hit him because i told him to it hit me honey what happened you know how i can tell that uh two of my friends are my you real know my father was you know two of your friends are your real friends let me show you that T tell you how i know they're my real friends how you know because they told uh, me their whole name <laughs> i'm not playing with him I'm not playing. You wanna know my name? I'm not playing. My name is Chloe Duke Bop Bean. You I'm your best friend. Your whole life, girl. What's wrong with you? Bro, if your friend don't tell you their real name, they are not your friend. I just found out about this new female rapper. Of course, I don't really listen to her music, but her name is Glorilla. Guess what her real name is? What? Gloria Hallelujah. What? And you know what Hallelujah is? Yeah. The highest praise. The highest praise you could give to the Lord Jesus Christ. Her name is Gloria Hallelujah. Amen, sister. But why does she try to act like all gangsta? Okay. Why does she try to act like all gangsta? You know, look at you could go up in the church and still be gangsta. Mm -hmm. That's anyway, real. Oh, that's real. You hear what he just said? I'm not playing with you. <laughs> and I am home. Welcome to my messy bedroom. <laughs> I did not clean this morning, nor did I clean yesterday. Like what happened to my good routine? I will get to it though. I didn't clean yesterday because I had a pedicure appointment. So by the time it was my cleaning routine time, I had to go ahead and head about the dough, but we're home, okay? I'm working on some laundry. So I just separated some dark laundry. So I'm about to go ahead and throw these in the washer because girl, this was stack shack high, okay? I'm gonna sit here in a minute and show you guys everything that I bought from Target. I have so many cool things. I cannot wait to go ahead and show you guys including these super cute aesthetic candles like is that not adorable we love it like oh my gosh how beautiful oh i love how the blinds make everything look super aesthetic with the sun shining in i have some things from amazon i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys actually no we bought these together we went online shopping together in one of my recent vlogs so y'all already know what's in there but we're gonna actually look at them in person but let me go ahead and throw these in a the washer what the heck? I got stuff in a washer? Girl. Oh, girl. I was just getting ready to go ahead and start my laundry and totally forgot I still have stuff in the washer. I totally forgot about them. I haven't done this in years and they smell disgusting. Thanks to one of my subbies for sending me this detergent. Isn't that so annoying when you forget you have something in the washer? You have clothes to wash, but now you have to rewash what's in the washer because it smells disgusting. Yeah, don't be like me. I'm sorry, pile of clothes. You're just gonna have to go ahead and sit there. Let's get into this Target haul. And then I gotta go ahead and straighten up my bathroom because if I go and rearrange my shower, I want the whole shower to look good and the shower's dirty. So I need to go ahead and scrub my shower down because the shelves that I bought won't stick unless I clean it and dry it. And then as you guys can tell, there's like little things like toothpaste on the shower or what on the mirror i changed my shirt because the little um strapless top i have is see-through that's why i have a jacket over it but for now it's too hot for that y'all know i be talking too much i talk and talk and talk and talk and talk i could talk for hours y'all but that's why i feel like i was meant to be a content creator okay because your girl my mouth be running at like 75 miles per hour okay girl so i'm hoping the lighting is good it's kind of hot in front of this window I'm hoping that the lighting is good because it is so annoying having to edit. And then you see the clip is either blurry 
or the lighting is so bad and for me with my acne lighting is a very big deal to me because bad lighting can make my scars look 10 times worse okay so yeah i showed you guys these two candles i had to buy them first of all because they're super like aesthetic second of all they smell like a dream okay like a dream my favorite would have to be it would have to be the aloe and bergamot and then when i first came into target or when i first went into target they had the cute like little one to five dollar section and they had these five dollar two pack heart stands they're like wooden stands look at but there's two of them there's two of them there and i'm gonna put a cute plant on top of it in my kitchen it's gonna be so cute so i bought these super cute little wooden heart stands that's so awkward i cannot stand when people walk past my window and they're like what is she doing is she filming i got this cute little cactus plant because i want to put it on top of one of these in my kitchen and i thought that would be super cute so i got this little cactus plant yes ma'am y'all see me get that in the video I got some of these. My dogs have already had two each. Um, but I got some little like dog hides because these are my babysitters. If they're acting up, I give them one of those and they're occupied for a good 30 minutes. So we love that. I do that every single day. So I have a 30 minute babysitter. Babysitter. I got a prime drink. I'm sure y'all know why. Shout out to Zaire. Gotta love him. He wants to be a content creator one day and I swear to gosh, I'm gonna drive him till he gets there. Not like do it, do it, do it. But like we can do it. You can do it. Whatever you want to do. He's so freaking creative. I love him. I was retwisting Jordan's hair yesterday. He started twisting his hair, making parts. I'm like, dude, if you like to do hair, you're going to be the best ever starting at this age. He wants to make his own hot sauce. This kid is going to be an entrepreneur. And then honestly, <laughs> most of the bags just have these in them. So I bought, um, I believe, three brown crates three white crates for my pantry because my pantry is disgustingly looking. So I bought like these super cute wooden bins for five dollars like a wood crate for five bucks at target and i got some white ones for five bucks at target super cute they're like super like woody and cute woody so i got those for my pantry so i got a bunch of those because i really want to go ahead and organize my pantry because girl my pantry is not a vibe. I've never been too crazy into like home decor and organization. I just felt like as long as I clean my house, I'm good. But now I'm so obsessed. It's so fun. So more crates. Yeah. And more crates. And then last but not least, I got this bold black and bougie um, little sweatshirt. It's super cute. Can y'all see it? It's super cute. I love the color of it. I love how it's cropped a little. It's super cute. They got all the Black History Month stuff out and I love it. So, bold, black, and bougie, baby. Look at the vibe of this, you guys. I swear to gosh, Target is amazing. Like, oh my gosh. And the sunlight coming through. Is this not the cutest vibe ever? Hold on. We missed a thing. Oh my gosh. So I got this for like five bucks as well. It's so cute. It's a glass washing machine, right? So since I am trying to revamp my laundry room, I'm going to put the baking soda in here. I'm trying to figure out cute containers for my laundry room. So baking soda is going to go in this super cute little glass laundry bin. And then of course in here, we've got the um, dryer sheet container that I bought on my recent video. We've got my shower shelves and then right here. Oh my gosh, this is tiny. Wow, I was not expecting that. Wow, this is a huge letdown. Wait a minute. I was expecting it to be little, but not this little. Y'all, this is that laundry container I bought. What's going on? You know what? Honestly, I'm actually not mad about it because I feel like if it's too big, it's gonna take up way too much space in my laundry room. So I guess that's that's pretty perfect. Oh, what's in there? Oh, the little scooper. Yes, girl, we love that. Okay, that's cute. In an upcoming video, we are going to revamp that laundry room, even if it's not all in one day. But I'm gonna use the little one for my kitchen. Out with the old, in with the new. Look how cute. That's really, really cute. I love that. Girl, yes, things are coming together. Things are coming together. You always need a little bit of greenery, okay? So I got that one over there, and I got this one right here. I'm so excited. Thank you, Jesus. This man went and bought us all kind of donuts. Okay, Jordan. Okay, this is what I'm thinking, y'all. I don't know if it's gonna work because I usually have my paper towel on this thing to make sure that it's able to come off like easily. But how do y'all think about that? Like, what do y'all think about that? 
I kind of like it, especially if I can like tuck my essential oils underneath here. And I can easily get a little a little plant for right here, which I should have yesterday. But like I can put my essential oils under here, have like a little collection of them. And then we've got a nice little decoration there. I think I like that. Look, we working with something, y'all. Jesus, please let them have eucalyptus at Michael's. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so cute with eucalyptus hanging from there. Ah, I love this, you guys. Do not mind my nasty shower liner. I just ordered a new one. I had no idea that it was this dirty. I still haven't really wiped anything down. <laughs> I'll just be talking at this point. I'll just be like, I'm about to go ahead and buy a plane. Pull up on a bike. Like, come on now. I'll just be talking. I will clean my bathroom. I just wanted to really get that done. And now I'm going to go ahead and throw those clothes in the washer. I got joy in my soul. God is in control. No matter the attack, I will go back. This means war. I plead, I plead the blood. 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 I got joy in my soul. God is in control. No matter the attack, I won't go back. This means war. You can't have my victory. I need just a little more Jesus. 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 I need just a little more to help me along the way. And it is time for your girl to head out and go get my sister-in-law, honey. Okay. But I really wanted to go ahead and tell y'all Hollister has some bomb body sprays. They don't last the longest, but I'm telling y'all these smell oh my gosh amazing and you can also put them in your hair i told um a hollister employee that she was like wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute i can put this in my hair i'm like yeah girl it's a hair and body mist she was like oh, no way they still sell these i love all of their hair and body mist girl get you some these are paradise y'all i'm not gonna lie these immunization names are hilarious so i texted essence and lockett's vet um last night because she has an appointment tomorrow don't let anybody ever tell you that pets are cheap and they're easy they are hard and they are very expensive but i asked her like what is essence getting done tomorrow and she was like essence will have a medical progress exam a rabies vaccination and the last distemper hepatitis parvovirus parinfluzia immunization <coughs> What is happening right now? But we are pulling up to McDonald's right now because I'm really hungry. Like I'm getting lightheaded. Like today's like a hungry day for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some lunch and then I'm gonna cook dinner for my family and I tonight. For my mom, if my little brother wants to eat, for Jordan and me. Yes, ma'am. But do you know what sandwich I want? Yeah. I don't even know what it's called, but I want pickles on it and no lettuce. My bad. Just when I was telling y'all on a recent vlog that the Accutane pains are not bad anymore. Like I don't really have them like that. <laughs> my ankle's throbbing right now. <laughs> Just a sandwich? Um, fries and that'll be good. <coughs> Stop okay. coughing, it's scaring me. I'm so sorry about that. Wait, what did I get for you today? No, you're fine. Can I get a deluxe crispy chicken sandwich with uh, tomatoes on it and no lettuce and pickles on it as well? And then can I have a small fry, a 10 piece chicken McNuggets with 
honey mustard, and then a large water. Thank you, baby. You're welcome, beautiful. Good, ain't it? So good. Man. This is my favorite sandwich from McDonald's. Deluxe, crispy chicken sandwich, no lettuce. Bro, what's going on with the highway? Wait, what, is there a car accident? Dude. Oh my gosh, it's like hard to even merge over. Yeah, this person behind me was not trying to let me in. Mall footage, yes ma'am. Look at this super cute baby girl outfit I got from Rule 21 for like $12, swear to gosh, yes ma'am. Look at my beautiful sister-in-law. I had to go ahead and buy this hoodie because it's oversized and super cute and it was like, what, $12? Yes, we love it, Rule 21, we love it. Girl, I bought a loofah, yeah. I gotta figure out how to use these things because I really wanna be able to tell you guys how to use them the correct way instead of bashing them. Anyway, <laughs> fresh coconut and cotton, y'all know that's my favorite, but they changed the packaging, so I had to go ahead and hop on that. But everything was buy three, get three free. So I told my sister-in-law, hey, if you want two more items, I already have four, go ahead and throw them in. And girl, she decided to get this nasty strawberry pound cake. Ooh, I don't know, people like that junk. Anyway, then she got it into the night body scrub. Yes, ma'am. Look at me organizing stuff so I can get this cute little, little uh, shot. Yes, yes, yes. We love it. So yeah, girl, I got a bunch of uh, fresh coconut and cotton stuff. We vibing, y'all. We vibing. And then I went to JCPenney Beauty and got one of my top favorite fragrances, Real Babe by Misguided. Mm. And <laughs> my cotton. Don't tell nobody about this. This is my favorite. And girl, I had no idea that they even sold a real babe body spray. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is amazing. I smelled this weird, like, little candy fragrance, and it was gross. So let's not even talk about it. Who even cares? And then look at my baby holding my door. Thank you so much. And I am back. I don't think I ever showed y'all my outfit, but it's super cute. It's a Victoria's Secret, like, um, velour, jeweled kind of outfit. It's super cute. It's, like, all sparkly. The Victoria's Secret sign is right here. It's just so cute. I love this outfit, y'all. It's so cute. And then my nails. Yes, ma'am. But anyways, like I was saying, your girl is back from the mall. We had such a fun time, you guys. I wish it could have lasted longer, but I got to get home and start cooking and getting ready for bed. But real fast, I really have to say this because Jordan is the sweetest. When I tell you guys, he is such a blessing to be around. He is the kindest guy in the world. Actually, one of the first things that I was ever like so attracted to about him was how he treated his sister. That was like one of the first things ever. I'm like... He is so patient and so kind and so sweet to this girl. Never seen it. I have never seen a big brother treat his little sister like it was his own child. And it was just so cute. So we're in Bath and Body Works. She's counting out her money. She can't figure out um, like what to give the lady. So she's like, can you help me? And so he helps her and he's finding everything, blah, blah, blah. And by the time we were all done, she was just like, you're so calm. And I was like, isn't he? And then we went to Michael's. I'm so sorry, y'all. I didn't film in Michael's. We had such a good time. I feel like I'm starting to get my, like, comedic personality back. Girl, life is looking good, okay? Life is good. Amen. And he got her this little Hello Kitty coloring book she wanted. And she was like, you're so kind. I was like, isn't he? Like, he's the sweetest, most patient, most kindest person ever. You could be in such a stressful situation. And just him coming in and saying, it's going to be okay. We can figure this out. There's always a way. That's one thing he's taught me is there's always a way. If there's a will, there's a way. And I'm just so grateful for him. So to see that again today, just how sweet he is to his little sister. Oh my gosh. It's so heart melting and heartwarming. It just makes me attracted to him a hundred times more it's so cute so yeah we enjoyed ourselves he's the best he's opening doors getting our bags he's just so cute anyways enough of him y'all know i love him we had a really good time i wish it would have lasted longer honestly next time i gotta get there earlier so we can have a full day she seemed a little bit down that it was time to go back home because we had such a good time but at least i know she had a good time with me at least she's not like girl i gotta get home like i need to get home anyway so i did go to michael's i did not find any real eucalyptus but i found some little plastic kind and i'm not worried about it it's real cute Matter of fact, I don't even know if it's eucalyptus. I don't even know if it's eucalyptus, but it's cute. Okay, so this is what I found. These two different plants. I have a little candle down there. They have their candles on sale for $9.99. Look at this, you guys, and it smells so good. It smells like a grapefruit perfume. Oh my gosh, what is it even called? Oh, tea cake tart. Ooh, that's so cute. I love that. Anyway, so yeah, I went ahead and got a new candle, but these are the plants I decided on. I don't know what the heck they are, but they're really cute. So I got these two different little plastic plants. I thought this was eucalyptus. I still think it is. And then I don't know what the heck this is, but it hangs. So they're going to go together like this and they're going to hang like that. Is that not adorable? I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. And since it is plastic, I know that over time these can get a little yucky. I'll just go back to the store and buy some more. All right, let's see what I can do here, y'all. 
I gotta go ahead and tie these together and then tie them up on the shower. So I got like this cording. Girl, I thought it was twine. Since when did we start calling it cording? Okay, and these colors go together very well. Thanks, honey. What you eating, a donut? Yeah. I'm finna make dinner, don't worry about it. All right, so I'm gonna tie these together a couple times and then we'll have to see. Man, people priorities is not straight. People was up in the mall shopping for shoes and clothes smelling like all kind of badness okay like at this point i think we know what these people be smelling like but like this time i don't know if i've ever smelled somebody that musty in my life i couldn't believe it and they sitting up shopping for clothes now i ain't trying to be judgmental i'm just saying your priorities are off anyways i think that's pretty good i tie them together pretty decent i'm gonna cut this and then i'm gonna start tying it up there surely i've been through a storm and rain i know everything about heartache and pain but god carried me through it all without his protection i'd surely fall i've been broke without a dime to my name but all my bills got paid because i call on jesus name you can't tell me that god isn't real because i got the victory and that's why i'm still here i got got the victory i got the sweet sweet victory of jesus oh we're doing something say surely i've been through the storm and rain i know everything about but god carried me through it all without his protection i surely fall girl we did it yes y'all don't know how happy i am about this like oh my gosh Babe, yeah. come look at it. Y'all know I give Jesus the credit for everything. I'm so grateful. I cannot do anything apart from Jesus. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That looks so good. I'm so excited. Thank you for reminding me to go to Michael's. Oh, for sure. Oh, this you gives it like, This gives it like such a different vibe. Yes. Oh my gosh. I have to call my mom. Okay. What you making, baby? Huh? What you making, baby? I'm gonna make some pasta. I don't know, I've made it twice before, it's super yummy. You've actually had it before. But it's just this um, this meal, this 31, off of this video, 31 one pot recipes. It's just like the first recipe on there. It's just like a chicken, cheesy, spinach pasta. Super good. Mm, yum. So, I'm gonna go ahead and make that up. I think it just consists of chicken broth, spinach, Parmesan cheese, cream cheese, onion, chicken, and lemon. And okay. penne noodles. Penne. I'm gonna go ahead and link the video down below. It's really good. So when you see this meal, you're gonna want to go ahead and look up that recipe. Okay, so the food has to simmer for 20 minutes, but I thought I'd go ahead and go over some of the things I didn't show you guys. So I went to Rue 21, no, Charlotte Roos. <laughs> I did go to Rue 21, but I went to Charlotte Roos and their whole entire store was $15 or less. So I got some things, y'all, I got some things. So I got this super cute yellow sweatsuit. So I got the yellow sweatpants, the yellow sweatshirt. Isn't that so cute, you guys? And this was like 12 bucks for like each item. So I got that super cute yellow outfit. Then I got some tank tops because these tank tops go very well underneath um, certain shirts or jackets. So I just got a white tank top. And then I got some of like these V-neck halter tops. Aren't these so cute? So I got like a beige one. I also bought a brown one. So I got that. So I got a white tank top and then I got this one, which is like a cream tank top. It's super cute and it's like terry cloth a little bit. It's so adorable. So I got those tank tops and all of these tank tops were $7, these and the halter tops. And then I got a black tank top because that is super cute to go underneath certain jackets and shirts, like I said. So that's what I got from Charlotte Russe. Y'all already know what I got from JCPenney. I was just so happy that they had my Real Babe perfume. This is such a beautiful scent. And the fact that they had the body spray, girl, I almost flipped out. Oh my gosh, y'all know I love to smell good. And this cotton fragrance, if you are looking for a powdery cotton fragrance, girl, this is the one. Get you some on JCPenney Beauty. Girl! This stuff 
stuff smells so good and it lasts. I don't want to go over the stuff that I already showed you guys, but yeah, I got this. It was on sale for $12.97 at Rue 21. Y'all already seen this little baby girl velour suit. I have so many velour suits, but this one was just too cute to pass up. It definitely looks cheesy unless you don't know it's from Rue 21. If you don't know it's from Rue 21, it doesn't look cheesy because it could be from like Fashion Nova or something. Who knows? And even Fashion Nova is cheesy. I don't know, you guys. I don't know where I'm going with that. But my mom has always called me baby girl since I was a baby. So I got a baby girl outfit because that's literally what I'm called. Over here, I don't know what the heck I was doing a Hot Topic, but my sister-in-law really um, loves Hello Kitty stuff and I do too. Y'all, my nail popped off again. Let's not even talk about it, but this is one of the characters. This is one of the characters on Hello Kitty. So it's a a strawberry flavored lip balm and then I had to buy these so y'all are probably like girl you bought a loofah I don't think a loofah is gonna be bad especially if I cleanse my body beforehand or if I'm just doing a rinse off I know a lot of y'all are like please girl just try it out again just see what it is stop shading loofahs girl I still don't mess with loofahs like that I would prefer a washcloth in a day but just for like aesthetic purposes if I'm doing like a shower video or something like that I think this is cute like it's gonna be super cute so I'm gonna go ahead and hang that in my shower I thought I'd go ahead and grab that I haven't used a loofah since I was in like eighth grade but I had to go ahead and get this stuff so you guys know my favorite scent by Bath and Body Works is the fresh coconut and cotton so I went ahead and grabbed the body wash I don't even really be using Bath and Body Works stuff but I had to just because they changed the packaging and I love fresh coconut and cotton plus they had them buy three get three free so I got the body lotion the body cream and the body spray so that is your girl's mall haul. So yeah, girl, we got some clothes, some smell goods. I feel like I have one of the most beautiful poodles in the world. She is a cockapoo, but she definitely took after the poodle. Like, oh my gosh. And then Essence, he's over there holding her, but her, she's a half poodle too, but she looks like a full Australian shepherd dog. She's an Aussie doodle. And then she looks like a full poodle. My little sweetheart, she's my sweetie, y'all. She's the one that's real chill and just so calm and sweet and then essence oh she's a sweetheart too she's a little smarter not a little a lot when i tell y'all essence is extremely smart even her vet today was like oh she's a smart one i'm like she's real smart she was like oh i can tell that she's literally not even four months yet and my vet her puppy's 14 months and she was like essence is gonna do so much better than my puppy look at what she chewed up today she chews everything that girl listens and sticks to it they over there fighting y'all better calm down my oh, baby girl, you're so pretty. Oh, girl, you're beautiful. Isn't that amazing? It's looking mighty good. Delicious. Packing it up for my family and running over to my mama's house. And while she's over there running that to her family, I'm about to try some of baby's food real quick. But I ain't gonna let her know that I that I smashed on something, so she might have to catch me on the editing or something, but this is really good though. I mean what can I say? She's cooking it. She be whipping up in the kitchen. Not as good as me, but you also know this video. But I'm just joking, but it's 10 out of 10. For sure. All right. I dropped my mama's food off. Heard my brother's food. She said it smells amazing. She's super excited. She made me three bottles of green juice, but I have to go over there tomorrow anyway. So I told her to keep one over there so I can drink it over there. She makes me green juice, y'all. Yes, ma'am. But y'all, when I tell y'all this stuff is so good, I've only had a bite. This stuff is so good. Did you try it? I sure did. It was really good. It was? Very good. Okay, good. Yes. Packed with flavor. Super yummy. But I got to go ahead and start getting ready for bed before I start eating. Because when I eat, girl, I got to be comfortable. So with that being said, it's time for your girl to go ahead and hit up out of here. Y'all peep my gown. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Okay. I'm about to go ahead and wash my face and do my nighttime hair care routine. If you guys want to see my nighttime hair care routine, please let us just know because I have a routine that I do every single night to my hair to keep it healthy, moisturized, shiny, and growing at a fast pace. So if you want to see that, go ahead and let me know. I'll go ahead and include it in some vlog coming up. But with that being said, I love you guys so much today. Ugh. Today was such a fun day. I really enjoyed myself and I love you guys and it's time for your girl to go.
Oops, I totally forgot to do the rinse cycle. All right, now bye.